soils and soil types. In this module, you will learn about soil and its types. Soil refers to the uppermost layer of the earth's surface that is produced through the process of weathering and contains some biotic material. Soil is considered as an important natural resource that is a necessary medium for plant growth. Soil differs from region to region according to the mineral and organic matter. Some of the important properties of soil that influence the growth of plants are Thickness of soil Its fertility Ability to drain water, etc. Factors related to the formation of soil are Climate Nature of rock The extent of natural vegetation Organic matter Slope of the land and the period of formation. Types of soil depend on factors related to the formation of soil. Soil horizons refer to the different layer of soil from the ground surface to the hard rock at a depth. The top layer of soil contains litter and roots of plants. The layer below it contains partially or totally decomposed organic material. The next layer consists of small pieces of rocks. The lowest layer is made up of unweathered rocks. A soil with well-developed horizons is called a mature soil. The formation of such a soil takes a very long time period. The material gathered at the base of the mountains constantly gets washed off. This soil does not get sufficient time to form. Similarly, in river plains, new alluvium is constantly being added, giving no sufficient time for the formation of soil. Thus, different horizons do not develop in the soil. Such soils are called young soil or immature soils. Soils are classified on the basis of their properties and process of formation. They are zonal soils, intrazonal soils, and azonal soils. Let us learn each of them in detail. Climate plays an important role in the formation of zonal soils. Although there is a variation in the types of rocks found in this region, the types of soil formed are uniform. The regions of zonal soil are parallel to the latitude. Let us understand the distribution of zonal soils from the given following table. Intrazonal soils refers to the typical soils are developed in the drier regions depending on the types of rocks. The soil developed on the basalt rock in Maharashtra or the red soil developed on the granite and Ness rocks in South India are examples of intrazonal soils. Water which is not drained from soil becomes saturated. In waterlogged regions of the Kashmir Valley and Udagamandalam, peat soils are developed out of vegetal materials. Intrazonal soils are developed at local levels, hence their extent is limited. Azonal soils are formed in mountainous regions out of the fine grains produced by weathering. This fine grain material constantly slides down the slope. Thus, the time necessary for the formation of soils does not become available and soil remain immature. For example, Himalaya mountains. In river plains, especially in flood plain areas, new alluvium gets deposited every year. The flood plain soils remain immature since they have inadequate time for soil formation. In river plains, due to alluvium and availability of water, the farmlands are fertile, but the soils 
remain immature. Let us now recap all the important points that we have covered in this module on soils and soil types.